apart from this i'll also be sending you the latest abnisha help file okay okay so that will be helpful for you to have a better understanding mm -hmm. because uh, in training we will be using a, a, a earlier version yeah which, which has almost all the components but few of the latest components uh, you, we will be going through the help file for understanding yep sure okay so uh, we'll also be discussing about you know uh, i mean further details on uh, what 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 uh, what clues that component give okay saving graph formats you know building an application building an application means arranging all the components and creating flows from input to the output okay in configuring input data set you know layout and record format propagation meaning uh, i mean when we are connecting two different components in a graph using a flow so what I mean the record format how we are propagating from one component to another component okay yeah. and uh, for a particular component what are all the different diagnostic ports Okay. We have lock port, we have reject port, error port, deselect port. Okay. So okay. let me brief about deselect port so that you'll get an idea. So you 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 have, you have an idea of join component right? or a, a basic join in SQL. Yep. Okay. So from two tables, we are trying to join uh, records. Okay. So if the key matches, it goes into the output. Okay. Yep. For all the unmatched records, what since that is a database, we uh, database join will just try to fetch the records. We we'll try to check and fetch the records. Okay. Here in Abnisho, we'll load the data into Abnisho. Right. And if we do the join, and when we join the comp, uh, when we join the records. Uh, all the records that match with the key will be sent to the output and the records which do not match okay will be sent to this diagnostic port tcell that is what a tcell port is we'll okay. go into further details when we actually work with the component but this is just an idea so let me have reject port reject port uh, uh, you know when uh, a record is rejected I'll, I'll tell you about the details when we actually work with it. Mm -hmm. hmm. We have error. Um, and we, are, we are getting a data of a different format and it has gone into error. Okay. So instead of graph to fail, we, we give some error handling function there. In that case, yep. such error records will be all locked into a certain port. So we have different ports for components. Yeah. Okay. Logging record information. So no, phases, checkpoints, okay, status, debugging, tracking a running graph. No, graph is nothing but as I said, it's a group of components arranged in a particular flow for yep. performing performing ETL operations okay. so running the application and components and all that components form the major part of our training okay so uh, okay. once you are into any uh, working with a, working with any client into Ignatio mm -hmm. mainly you will be dealing with all the components that are present okay, okay. Uh, it's uh, as you know you know uh, in SQL, we write different queries. Okay, here we have direct components. Instead of queries, we just arrange the components and we attach the flows. So it does the job. Okay. Okay. We'll be discussing about parallelism. Parallelism is an important component in Indonesia. Okay. Yeah. And we'll be discussing of the anatomy of complete job. Right? Okay. Okay, and I'll also be discussing about uh, string and decimal functions that we actually use in transform component. Yep. 
and we'll also discuss about multi path yeah okay so uh, mostly the session this uh, training will go for 12 to 14 days you know ba- based on the topic it if i uh, it will take uh, one and a half hour to two hours per day okay so yeah so uh, mostly what i'll be doing is i'll i'll be giving you the overview and i'll ask you to do a assignment okay so okay. once i'm once i'm working into the start working with the evnesia software i'll show you what all the training that we I mean, show you what all we do on on that particular thing that day and i'll ask you to do a small assignment so that you will come back the next time you will tell me yeah sure. okay. fine so now we actually jump into the topic okay ab initio ab initio is a latin word which means uh, from the beginning okay so ab initio software is used in wide varieties of system which are like data warehousing etl okay data collection and analytics data mining olap and then analytic processing etc okay so this is a uh, okay so this is an overview of uh, a data warehouse you you have an idea of data warehouse um barely like whatever the data warehouse tools i mean like what data warehousing is is that something related to the etl tool okay or is it like an all the package comes in a data warehouse no let me let me brief you about data warehouse okay yeah sure okay you know there are uh, different data storage applications available we have oracle db we have db2 okay yeah. we have many many other systems i mean uh, we have salesforce data etc okay yeah. so a company will be working with different types of sources right like oracle the db db2 sales force or uh, etc okay yeah yeah so each and every uh, type of source is related to certain application which perform certain functions yeah okay. so the sales force will will get will give the information of sales reports and all that on um, you know oracle db they they might be using to store the actual database etc database which has details about the customers clients etc fine so yeah. for a company they want all the data to be at a single place okay from which they can do analytic analytical process okay yeah. so for a particular month who is the client who has done so many purchases and what is his uh, transactional output okay so each and every data will be different database so data warehouse is a concept where we collect data from each and every source okay we use etl tools tools like abinitio informatica etc okay we we load it into a data warehouse okay a data warehouse is a collection of data from a different many different sources which we normally use it for analytical processing etc yeah okay, okay. so uh if you see my screen i'm i'm pointing out the cursor so these are the different data sources okay yeah. so we use etl tools extract transform load and we load it into data warehouse data okay. data warehouse is a collection of all the data of an organization okay yeah sure so these days what is happening is uh, the data warehouse is being replaced by a data lake data lake okay okay that is that is the trending 
uh, you know application in the industry it's not an application it's 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 a analogy it's a different name different it's a, name or like an yeah. yeah it's an analogy okay okay uh, i mean uh, as i said yesterday that we they are using kadu etc yeah yeah so where the uh, big data large amounts of data is being stored okay so this is this uh, to the left side this part is where you know we take the data we transform it we load it into data warehouse okay then on the right side what happens is we process the data you know we do data mining we have analytical processing we we do some programming you know once we have a data based on our requirement we do we do different uh, you know tasks perform operations data mining it's a as a software as a service etc different applications they will do data mining okay analyt or oil ap on the analytical processing you know the example where i discussed uh, a bit early that uh, you know the company wants to know for this particular set of uh, customer what are all the transactions that he has done and how important he is you know once we have all the data in the warehouse we can do such you know you know analytics of the data so ebinisho here comes in the etl part okay at the source side this this side is called source side and this side is called distribution side okay Uh, any queries? I'll be moving on to the next one. Hello. Hello, Sandeep. Uh, yeah. any queries to me i am moving to the next line no 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 i am i am okay i was just thinking that um you are you are like talking over the data where i was in data mining and i was still waiting for you to something else so that's why i was like not talking in between so but yeah everything fine with that slide sure okay in the next slide we will be discussing about avenisho architecture okay Fine. So from various sorry, so from various databases, we load, we do some, uh, we apply some ETL tools, and we load the data into data warehouse pool or data lake, and from that again, we from that data, whatever uh, depending upon the requirements, we're gonna transform, and again we're gonna use some ETL tools, and we're gonna do the data mining. Is that what it is? The yes. previous slide. Yes. I mean, not just data mining. Yeah. Overlap. Excellent. Overlap on Java. The program. Yeah. Okay. Got it. Thank you. And any programming or whatever information we need from the data, based on the custom client's request. Perfect. Yeah. I got it. Thank you. Thank you. Fine. Uh, now we are into the Ebenezer product architecture. Okay. Yeah. <coughs> Sorry. So, Ebenezer has in Ebenezer architecture there are three different components. Okay, one is GD, graphical development environment. Okay. Uh, okay, this is where users, developers like us, okay, we use the GD, which is a graphical representation, and we we perform Ebenezer. task that is etl task okay, okay. <clears throat> this is a front end graphical development and okay mm -hmm. and this gd you now sends information into the cooperating system this is a cooperating system okay cooperating system is as the name suggests it is cooperating and operating system okay it will sit 
on the host operating system and it will help for uh, abnisha tasks performing abnisha tasks okay okay and we have the eme enterprise meta environment okay yeah. enterprise meta environment has a copy of all the uh, development that has happened in abnisha okay yeah meaning if we create any graphs or if we have all the dmls or i'll tell you what a dml and etc is okay all I mean graph and it's all related components and it related files all the data will be stored in enterprise meta environment okay okay using gde we we can con we construct a graph okay okay and when we run graph it uses abnisha property system okay okay and all the data we will store in enterprise meta environment em yes sir and this is a bit complicated architecture that it is shown here but i am trying to simplify it telling you only three components because these are the only three components yep okay and these things we will understand step when we actually dig deep, deep into it mm -hmm. okay. okay okay so so this cooperating system will you know sit on the native operating system it can be unix it can be uh, windows nt etc okay yep. and using gd we'll use all the components okay the components that are already present with the abinitio some components can be defined user defined i mean a developer can define a component to perform a specific task okay third card party components that are available all these things can be used in gd so this is about the architecture okay. Any, any any question on the architecture? Um, uh, so on the on the left hand side, the the, the orange color tabs, all are the GDE related tabs. No, see, no. this is a GDE. Okay. okay. In GDE, it we we have different components and issues, right? Yes. Yes. So in GDE, we use all the components. So this yes. man, this shows all the components. So in GD we we use all the components and we create a graph. Yes. Here this is relating to the operating system. Okay, okay. the operating system sits on the operating system, native operating system. Net, yeah, Unix or MS uh, like host, Windows NT. Yes. Host, host operating system. So this this is like GD part. Okay, mm. these two. Okay, these two are like uh, uh, cooperating system part, and uh, EME. EME is uh, we normally do not do anything to EME. EME is a repository to store all the data of the developments that we do in the abnisha. Mm -hmm. uh, for a developer, we only work with uh, GD most of the time, and we. After working with GD, we use backend environment for propagation into the next environment. So we do check and check out etc. That I'll tell you. Later. Yeah, sure. Yeah. <clears throat> so I'm going to the next slide. Yep. The Ebony Show cooperating system is compatible on different operating systems. So mm -hmm. mostly we come across RHEL Linux. Nice. Okay. Uh, I think even uh, in uh, City Bank, you might Bank, have. Yeah. Yes. They, they run in Linux. Yes. So uh, most of the time, Abnisho, Abnisho, you will see attached with Linux only. So, mm -hmm. but then Abnisho is compatible compatible with different operating systems like Solaris, AX, HPUX. Windows, etc. Yeah. Okay. This is about computer and connectivity to other softwares. Okay. okay. So let me tell you. Uh, we need 
to, we need some data to work with Ebony Shorite. Yeah. The data we can fetch it from Oracle, DB2, Informix, Sidebase, Teradata. These are all the data sources. Okay. So Oracle, uh, this Ebony Show has all the different interfaces, which I mean many different info, interfaces which it can connect to get all the input data. Nowadays, uh, as I said, Hadoop is a trending thing, thing. All the data from these sources will be first loaded into Hadoop. And from Hadoop, we will be taking the data into Ebnish. No, we have other packages also, but we normally do not use any packages with that niche. Okay. I'm moving on to the next slide. Sandeep, are you there? Sandeep? Sandeep, can you hear me? No, I, I'm fine. Thank you. Yeah, I'm moving on to the next slide. Yep, sure. So, I, mean, uh, I think the con connection got lost. I was trying to reach you. Fine. Is it? Okay. Yeah. I can reach. I can. I can hear you, but I, I can't hear you speaking. I can just hear some background, like yeah, like that, like that. Okay. Okay, so is it clear now? Yeah, it's clear now. It's perfectly clear. So, parallel setup. Okay, Ebitio software helps you build large scale data processing application and run them in parallel environment. Okay, uh, the sentence is complex, but let me simplify that. Okay, yeah. So, in Ebitio, you connect to different data sources, right? Yeah. Okay. So once you run a graph, we can, uh, you know, collect the data from the different sources in parallel. Okay. So suppose parallel in the same uh, in the same time. Yes. Yes. No? Suppose okay. Now one of the data sources is DB2, another data source is Oracle, another data source is Salesforce. Okay. Yeah. Okay. We use it in a graph. We try to run it. Fine. Yeah. So once you start running the graph. Okay, the data from all the three sources will be taken in parallel at the same time. Okay, that's great. Yeah. Yeah, that 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 is actually, you know, one of the advantages of having admission. That is why many people are, uh, you know, coming into admission. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. In the in the architecture, as we have discussed, it has two main components: operating system and graphical. Develop it and run it. Okay, cooperating system, which uses your system administrator, installs on a host or Linux or Windows servers. Yeah. Okay. So, cooperating system is something which admin will do, okay. mm -hmm. and the graphical development environment will be installed on your PC. 
okay that is also being done by the administrator and we, we normally configure it and communicate it use it for communication with the host and yeah Okay. So, cooperating cooperating system is an actual frame which performs all the logics that we design on the GTE. Okay. Okay. It's like a backend. That, okay. Is that gonna convert by itself to a Unix or a Linux code? Yes. Okay. So, so in graphical development environment, we use all the different components. To build a graph okay that will be kind of converted converted into a code and it will be run on the cooperating list yes okay okay so how uh, this is what it says when a graph is run corresponding components are called which are nothing but the functions and initial specific code is generated which is similar to a shell script okay, okay. That's, what, that's what we discussed yeah that's yeah cool. so we cannot directly execute this uh, shell script because it is initial specific okay yep. so the cooperating system here comes into the play it will convert the initial code okay and yep. it will carry out the task the, mm -hmm. the task which which means a requirement yeah that's good okay so uh, we'll discuss about cooperating system services okay, okay. Uh, it, it has parallel and distributed application execution uh, okay. you know the distributed application means as i said that all the different uh, input sources okay mm -hmm. we take it parallelly as uh, earlier i explained right we take the data parallelly at the same time so it will yeah. it will so the cooperating system controls all the data uh, i mean in data sourcing and it it also controls the data transport okay, okay. so the transactional semantics at the application level this i'll get back to you okay okay sure. checkpointing so let me okay checkpointing let me give you a brief okay you have a uh, a very complex graph according to a business requirement okay yeah you are processing a large amount of data okay at some point of time after running you know after running for a considerable amount of time the graph fails okay so here you have done some changes and you don't want to run the graph from the beginning because it has, uh, it has already taken considerable amount of time. Yeah. Right. So here the checkpoint checkpoint comes into place. Yeah. Okay. All these things are controlled by the cooperating system. Co-op. We short in short form, we, we co call co-op. Co-op. Yeah. yeah. So it does monitoring. It does de debugging. It does parallel file management. Okay, parallel file management. We'll discuss when we, you know, go, when we discuss in detail about multi-file system (MFS). Okay, metadata driven components. This also we'll we'll discuss it once once we go into the components part. Yeah. Okay. So these are all the services of the corporate system. Okay. Okay. Check Yeah. Keep talking. One. configuring GD uh, normally this will be done by a system administrator in in, our, uh, in a production or development environment not production environment in a development environment a GD will be configured okay yes. so this is not part of uh, I mean this is uh, this is not for a developer this is for the admin okay yes. however uh, for the training part, I'll show you how we configure the GD. Now that that will be day after tomorrow. Yeah, sure. Okay. So are we are we having the classes in the weekend as well? 
since it is a morning time for me it won't be a problem for me but uh, it will be an afternoon afternoon for you right so so based on your availability we'll uh, we'll modify the time yeah sure because usually i don't uh, i'm sorry i i won't be available on sunday okay. but i can i can make myself available on saturday sure then uh, we'll make it that uh, that way. yes like six days of it Okay, so till now we have discussed with the GDE. I mean, we have discussed about GDE and cooperative system, right? So GDE is a graphical development environment where we where we create all the I mean, we use all the components and create a graph, which as per the business requirement, which performs a specific task. And cooperative system sits on the uh, host operating system. Okay. and what are all the development that we have done in the gd it will be connect, converted into a unix script and it will be run using the cooperating system okay yeah. now uh, we'll discuss about ema ema yeah. yeah enterprise meta environment okay mm-hmm. so let me tell you the situation okay uh there will be many users in an organization who are working on the data which which is a common data okay common data source yeah using which you uh, develop some graph okay as per business requirement till the development it is done in a sandbox sandbox is a developer's personal space okay where you uh, create a graph uh, as per your requirement okay yes. so we have an eme enterprise meta environment uh, a little earlier we discussed that enterprise meta environment you know it will have all the data of all the graph development and its related files etc okay mm-hmm. everything will be stored in enterprise meta environment it is just the Uh, it's it, it's it's like a repository which stores all the information about this. Yeah. Okay. So what happens is you have developed your graph as per your requirement. Okay. And uh, you have uh, and you have saved it in your sandbox, and you have once you have saved it into the sandbox, you will also have to load it into the EM, and. Yeah. to propagate it into different environments development you know support and production yeah. development test and production sorry not support development test production yeah. fine so tomorrow there will be another requirement to change some logic in the graph and yeah. since there will be many other users that may not come to you mm-hmm. to do, i mean that requirement may not come to you asking for, to do the changes there will be some other person some other developer who is working on it yeah okay so so uh, how, how do how does he have all the details of the development that you have done okay that all that in since all the information of the graph that you have developed and its related files will be stored in eme okay he check out check out okay. is a process of they uh, taking the data from eme and to store it in a personal sandbox okay okay so from eme he'll check out that particular uh, sandbox or graph into his local environment okay and he'll start working on it yeah okay parallelly you can also do a check out Uh, not a check out you you can also have a copy of the same mm. uh graph and its uh, all files in your personal sandbox yeah but you know he uh, the other person has to do some changes so he can lock that particular files that he is working on in the in the eme so that you will not do a check in in meantime okay. 
Understood? Yeah. So when he's working or when he's doing some changes on that same graph, um, his, they will apply a lock or is that an automatic lock applies? No, no, the lock has to be, you know, put manually. Sorry, I missed that. What's that? Yeah, you know, we can we can put the lock manually. Manually as well. Okay, so it's some, is that something automatic happens or like is that we have to do lock manually? Or if we don't lock it and he can also do the changes, yeah? Yes, so if we don't okay. lock it, we do not have a version control. Mm. Okay. It's better we lock it and then, yeah, got yes. it. Yes, so that is, you know, that's, that's, that's the main reason why we have an EME. Yeah, another thing, if, when they did, when they want to do a checkout, do, a, do they need to access any, like, do they need any permission from the person who developed that graph? No, 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 not required. It's all in no. the, it's all in the Ebenezer, okay? Checkout can be done in two ways, from the GDE and also from the backend. Okay. 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 So yeah. all these yeah. details will be present in the help file. I'll give you the help file, you know. Uh, I'll I'll tell you when you have to use the help file also. Okay, this, yes. this is just an introduction part. I don't want to confuse you. Part. No problem. Yeah. Okay. okay. So are you uh, clear till now? Today actually we have discussed uh, about you know oh, data warehousing and we have discussed about Ebenezer architecture and. Uh, we have uh, discussed about parallel processing. We have discussed about GDE and cooperating system. And we have discussed about working with enterprise metaanalytics. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, I think I'll call you today now. Sorry, what's that now? I, I think I'll call you today now. Okay, since these yeah, are yeah, sure. just theoretical classes. Now, if I proceed yeah. further, it will be boring for you. <laughs> that's fine. Yeah, that's fine for me. Um, but you said you wanna you were gonna send something on Google Drive to download the the Yes. Yes. Is that gonna happen tomorrow or? Uh, no, it might it might happen day after tomorrow. Day after tomorrow. One second, because let's check the dates. So yeah, mostly on Saturday, I'll send you. Yep, sure, no problem. So no, as, as of now, uh, I mean, as of now, you need not have that uh, readily available with you. But then, uh, by Saturday or Monday, I'll, I'll send you that, all those details. No, no problem, no problem. Let's, let's, let's just focus on whatever you just told me. And then, um, yeah, whenever you can send me that on Google Drive, then I can download it and you can. Um, just go with up and going, you know, with the graph and all that stuff, you know. That's I think that that's when that's when the actual uh, Abinisha starts. I guess when it when it when we are developing the graphs and sandboxes. Yes. Yeah, yes. yeah. But we have to know the theoretical part of it. But when we apply something, uh, that's what I believe in life. When we apply something in practicality, that's a different story. So, yes, exactly. Yeah. So you ready to go to work or? Like, what's happening today? You you ready to uh, go to work? Today, yeah, today I have, well, I have I have week. I mean, Monday to Friday, nine to six office. I have that. Okay. 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 So, uh, but you only have like very little time. I guess you just better go faster than. <laughs> no, that's that's fine. Uh, no, even though it is nine to six. Uh, I I can I you know till this training I have took a permission that I'll come from ten to seven. So that's ah that's great that's great that's great. Um, do you live nearby of your office or like a bit far? Yeah, it's like a, a thirty minute drive. Yeah, that's not a problem. But Hyderabad traffic is so bad. I'm sorry, but yeah. Yeah, it is bad actually. <laughs> These days, after you know this metro rail construction has started, and now the bios it's been a bit worse. Oh my god! I thought after metro the traffic will slow down, but is it bad again? More bad? Uh, not more bad, but it is still in the same situation. Not better. Oh god! Yeah. 
Yeah. So right now, yeah. when 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 have you been to Hyderabad? When did you come here? Last Me, time? I came to Hyderabad in 2014. Oh, okay. But oh. that time the metro was not there. The metro has started just six to seven months back. Yeah, yeah. But uh, before that, I was in 2010. Okay. And, uh, Yeah, and before that, I was in some like I don't know. I was I went to US very young when I was sixteen, seventeen. I went with Guardian, okay. um, and a couple of people went together to do undergrad. Um, um, so I barely remember. Okay. But uh, my studies are based on because my my father is from uh, you know Walangal. Yes, I know Walangal. Yeah, yeah my father is from. Walangal. Yeah, my father is from Hanukkah now. So no, my my childhood was a bit dead, but my mom mom is from Sikandarabad. Okay. So yeah, but um, the studies were like very primary education was in um, Varangal, and then I moved to um, Vijayawada. They just put me in in Hotsu. So yeah, in, I'm, for, I hail from Vijayawada actually. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah, and then I studied there plus two. And then I moved to US, and then I, yeah, then I studied all our overseas. Okay, okay, that's nice. Okay, that's fine. Uh, Siram, thank you so much for this session, and I will look forward for tomorrow. So. Sure, okay, sir. I'm good. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Nice thank day. you. Bye bye.